It's high carb day, so my Kodiak pancakes. Had a little bit of crushed walnuts and some blueberries today. Hey y'all, it's just about time for our home workout, but not before our cage muscle pre-cage pre-workout 30 minutes before even home workouts because we're going to keep it intense. I'm staying hydrated during this home workout with my cage muscle in cage intra workout, sipping on this to the very last rep. Ab work done, and now it's time for our hit cardio. Today I'm taking it outside and I'm gonna do some sprints. Now, before I grab my running shoes, today's rider wear gear the red raw D Max, the new drop, black shorts. Tank from the Infinity Seamless line. So we're taking our cardio outside today. It is hot, it is humid, this is gonna be nasty. I'm gonna do seven 30 second all out sprints. Now it's the really nasty stuff we tend to avoid that gets us the most results. So going outside and doing sprints in this heat sounds awful to me, that's why I'm doing it. Let's talk about the timing of my post-workout recaged. I always have it after hit cardio because it's a short period of time and it's intense, but I always have it before my steady state cardio. And yes, you want your post-workout recaged, especially after home workouts because we're gonna keep them intense. And that wraps up week three of Diamond Cutter. Tomorrow we'll have our third review and evaluation and we'll make tweaks to our nutrition and cardio based on our results. Be sure to weigh yourself upon waking tomorrow before food and water. Remember, I won't have a video tomorrow, but there'll be a PDF with the evaluation tips on what to do in week four.